Hello everyone, it's Janet Axman from Sugar Shine Designs and today I'm here for cut cardstock and I'm going to be making this beautiful glittered Mother's Day hat easel card and matching box. So here are the pieces when all complete. As you can see this opens up to be a really fun easel card with that hat. And then there's a matching box that this fits just perfectly in. You could even add a little tissue to that if you'd like for an even better presentation. This is a nice sturdy box and a great way to give this wonderful little gift away. So let's take a look at the pieces. I chose to use Silk Glitter Opulent Opal for this hat and this is the majority of the pieces to form the basics of the hat. There's the brim and the crown pieces and I'll show you how that goes together. Here we have some decorative pieces made with silver from cut cardstock and just some pattern paper from my stash. Now you'll see the card base that I cut out of cut cardstock's basis 80 pound paper. The machine also put some score lines in there and I've got a strip for the sentiment as well. So to fold this I'm going to follow the score lines. There's one there in the center and then one in the center of one of the circles. And when folded this is what forms the basis of the easel style card. I'm going to add some glue on just one part of that fold in the circle and I'm going to put a, the silver piece, this is the biggest round silver piece and it's going to act as the beginning of the brim of the hat. Next I'm going to work on the hat itself and there are three pieces that stack on top of each other. It's very easy to tell which three they are because they're just graduating in size. And this just gives the brim a little more interest because it's got some layers going on. This glitter cardstock is really pretty. It is called Opulent Opal and it has a little bit of color in it. Whenever it hits the light you can see a little bit of pink, sometimes a little blue, but it's, it's very uh, soft and pretty. Now here is the inside of that easel card. I'm going to go back now and use those pre-cut decorative pieces of paper that I showed you in the beginning. This is going to go into the bottom of the card so you'll see that when you open it. After that I'm going to do the same thing with this half piece and put it on um, right above the main circle. I really think this could be skipped if you wanted to. It really doesn't show much at all. You might notice when I close this here that you're going to be able to see some of those glue marks coming through the silver paper but it's okay because that will be covered up by the rest of the hat. So at this point I'm going to start working on the crown of the hat and this is the main piece that allows it. It just goes together at the tab and you'll want to train the paper a little bit so that it curls easily. I just used uh, the handle of another tool to, to uh, train it to go into a circle. Now there are all these tabs that are cut and so you'll want to fold those over and again my machine not only cut the tabs but also put in a light bit of uh, scoring so that it's easy to fold that over. And you'll want to do that on both sides and then it'll be prepped to put in the top and bottom of the crown for the hat. So I've skipped ahead here and folded both of the tabbed edges over. I'm going to open up one side just a little bit so I can get this donut shaped piece through it. And I'm going to put an edge of glue all around the outside and then I'm going to insert it inside of the crown. So it's just going to slip inside so you see why I needed to open up the tabs a little bit on the top to allow for that. And then I'm going to just rotate and push and give it a little bit of time to set the glue. Once the glue has set pretty well then I'm going to flip it over like this and use my thumb and finger to further press those tabs into the donut shape just to make sure it's got a good adhesion. Now I'm going to take the round piece where the machine actually cut the letter T in it. It's very hard to see that. You can barely make it out actually in this video. But that is the top of your hat and you'll want to make sure you use that particular piece for your top. After putting a piece or a line of glue on it like I showed here, I'm going to use my fingers to set that glue similarly to how I did with the donut piece. And then also similarly I'm going to use my fingers and a little bit of glue here and there to get those tabs to stick really nicely to that top piece. Once all of that is ready then I can put the very top of the hat on and that's going to go again on top of the piece with that T cut into it 
and this will form a nice even seam for the top of the hat and it will look very nice and neat. And I'll just again use my fingers very carefully pressing the glue in and making sure that everything's in place and that the glue is secure. The crown is finished now and I will take another strip of glue, actually two of them here, and put it on top of the brim piece that I prepared previously. And you can see now that this really does form a very pretty hat, a very recognizable hat. And it's very neat. The edges are nice. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to work on the decoration. This is the hat band, again out of cut cardstock silver metallic paper. I'm going to put this so that the seam of the hat band matches up with the seam of the crown because that is where I'm going to put the bow and, and that will be mostly hidden. So I don't want to have two seams by putting that hat band in a different place than the seam of the actual crown. That way it just keeps it neater. So I'm just going to line that up. Sorry it's a little bit off camera at first here but I'm just taking that glue, lining it up, and pressing it down, matching up the seams as well as I can. And this makes it a very cute little hat. You could leave it just like this if you wanted to, or decorate it up a little bit more. I am going to choose to put some ribbon around this yet, and a bow. You could also put flowers and all kinds of different things on this hat to decorate it up. So now, at this point, I'm ready to put the hat onto the easel mechanism that I created earlier. Very simple to do, just put some glue around the edges, a little bit in the center, and then just center that on top of that silver base. What this does is give a nice little silver edge to the hat crown, and that plays nicely with the decorative band that is on the crown as well. So all in all, it's just really a a cute presentation this way. It's a very clever little design. All right, so now I have the sentiment. It cut a mat for the sentiment out of silver, which I'm going to put on the inside of the card. And this is going to act as the stopper so that when the easel card is propped up, it rests against this and won't flop shut. So it will only close when the recipient wishes it to be closed. And you'll see what I mean shortly here. You open it up, kind of figure out where I'm going to put the stopper, and just set that in. I just wanted to make sure it was straight relative to the hat. And now you can see the brim of the hat catches that silver mat and stops the easel from flopping shut. I'm going to measure some ribbon at this point to go around the crown of my hat. And this is some red and white that I thought would be really cute with it, given the colors that I've got going. And I'm going to use one quarter inch double-sided tape, which I'm going to apply to one side of the ribbon. And this is going to give me a really strong adhesion of the ribbon to the hat band that it's going to wrap around. And I considered using regular wet glue, but I thought that it probably would get messy, that the glue would start to seep through the ribbon. And so I'm glad I chose this method. It was a little bit tricky to get it on straight, but once I got it on, it was very easy to handle after that. So I've wrapped the ribbon all around the crown, and at the very end, I folded over the ribbon just so I've got a nice little edge there, and then I'm going to use glue to secure it. Now, if a little bit of that glue shows through and it's a little bit lumpy right there, it really doesn't matter because I'm going to put a nice bow over the top of that. I just really want it secure. Now here's the double bow that I made off camera and I cut a couple pieces to be tails for my bow as well. And I'm going to use a little hot glue in this case because I just think it's easier to secure this with hot glue. It'll be quicker and it'll hold really securely. So I'm just going to put a few dabs down and then I can set that into place. And that is going to give me a very cute hat with this nice pretty bow on it. And so the Ziza card is basically done. I still have to do the sentiment, but other than that, it's ready to go. I'm moving on now to the box. And these are the decorative pieces that are going to go on the sides and the top of the box, plus a little sentiment strip. There are two main pieces for the box. And again, I cut that out of 80 pound basis white cardstock to match the card base. And I'm going to apply those side pieces of glitter cardstock to decorate it up. 
This is the larger piece and the big flap that you see below my hands, that is the top of the box. And that's where we're gonna put some more decorative pieces in a moment. But you can see those two pieces go together and that's what creates the full box. Very simple to do this box. I really like how well it goes together and how solid it is. I was pleasantly pleased to find out just, you know, really how solid that box is in terms of its stability. Now I'm going to put the glitter cardstock with the circle cut out. And as I mentioned, this is the top of the box. And you can really see that opulent opal color. It's got that pinkish hue to it. It's really quite pretty. And here's that circle of gingham style decorative paper again. And now it's going to be time to attach these two pieces together to make it a true box. So it's got a tab where you can connect the two pieces together. And you'll want to match up the seams and match up the folds so it looks nice and even and also so it folds well. So here I'm going to show you how it folds together. It's got a tab that slips in the center and then there's a tab on the side that still needs to be glued. Super simple and again it just made a very sturdy box. Couldn't be more impressed with that part of it really. See I could press in there, nothing's falling out. I'm going to go back now and finish my easel card with the sentiment. Off camera I stamped Happy Mother's Day using, it's an older close to my heart stamp actually. But I like the script and it's quite perfect for this card. So I'm going to put that in with my art glitter glue and let it set a little bit. And that's going to complete the easel card itself. So you can see how nicely it stands up and how great that looks. Next I'm going to move on to the box and finish decorating that. I've got another piece of that matching ribbon that I tied into a bow and I'm using some hot glue to attach it to the top of the box. And then I've got some pearl brads that I inserted into this sentiment strip. And I'm going to attach that with wet glue. This also says Happy Mother's Day. It's the very same stamp I used on the card. It just puts everything together nicely. And you could decorate this to box top up a lot more as well with flowers, more pearls. You could do a lot if you really wanted to put extra time into that. But this is also a very nice, clean and simple look and is very attractive as well. So it's a moment of truth. Let's open up the box, put in our card, close it, and voila. It's a very pretty box. I really love how it turned out. Here's another quick view of the finished hat and its box. On behalf of Cut Cardstock, thanks for joining us. I hope you'll consider subscribing and come back again soon.